Today's video is a how to set up elevator mix with flaps. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is make sure our flap system is enabled. Push enter, scroll down, and it should be between digital switch setup and mixing. So we don't see it. So what that means is we don't have it set up correctly in the aircraft top. We'll scroll down to system setup. Go to aircraft top. For this tutorial, we're going to say it's set up like a basic airplane, which is two servos for the ailerons go to a Y connector and goes to one channel on the receiver. Two servos for the flaps will go to a Y connector and one channel on the receiver as well. That's known as one aileron, one flap. Let's back up and go to our system settings. And now you can see between digital switch setup and mixing, you have flap system. So as I mentioned, if you go there and you don't see it, it's because the aircraft type is not set up properly. Our flap percentages, so that's the position that the flaps are going to deploy. And on the right, we have our elevator percentage mix. The way this works is, as you put positive and negative values on the elevator mix, it's going to give positive and negative inputs from the elevator on the right stick. So what you're doing is you're putting these values in there so you don't have to hold the attitude correction for the airplane. So what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, the plane is pitching down. We need up elevator. So we're going to pull the stick down. You'll notice you have negative numbers at the bottom. And if the plane pitches up, you need down elevator. And you'll notice that number is positive. So when you're putting your mix on the right side, if you need down elevator, it's going to be a negative number. If it's up elevator, it's going to be a positive number. Now that we understand how to adjust the values and what positive and negative percentages do, let's talk about the values that you put in for an elevator mix. One is there will be call outs in the book. Sometimes I've seen those spot on. Sometimes those have not been close and I've had to adjust them. The other part is if they don't have the values in the book, that means one of two things. One, it doesn't normally need elevator mix with the flaps, or two, they just don't have it called out in the book. So you're probably sitting there, well, BD, if it don't have it called out in the book, then how do I adjust it? Here's what you'll do. Take your plane up, get plenty of altitude, deploy your flaps. See what attitude the airplane has once the flaps are deployed and your speed's been stabilized. So you're cruising along at half throttle with half flaps and the nose is pitching down on you. So that means you need negative value to offset and to pull the nose up for level flight. So what you can do is when you're flying along, pull the stick down and kind of get a muscle memory of how far you're pulling the stick down for up elevator. That's about 20%. So I, I would come around, I would land, I would go to my half flaps here and I would put in negative 20%. And I'm using bigger values. Normally they're not that high. I've had some planes that only need 2%. And I've had some planes that need 25%. So it just depends on the airplane. And it also depends on, you know, how much flap deployment you have. This number changes. This number can change as well. The flap number changes. The elevator number can change. So we'll go negative 20%. We take it back up. Now our plane, once we get stabilized speed, is pitching up. So that means, means we need to give it a little bit of down elevator. So we'll come around land, and we'll go back down a little bit, maybe 16%. Go up. Okay, now we've got it set. Next thing you'll do, go ahead and deploy your full flaps and see what you've got. So we deploy our full flaps. We get our speed stabilized, and we see now the plane's pitching down even worse than it was before. So that means we'll come around, land, we'll go into percentage, and same thing, just see what your muscle memory is. Let's say now when we got full flaps, we pull it down to about right here, and that's like and that's like 30%. So what we'll do is we'll go in and put this on 30%. The ultimate goal of these numbers, what they're doing is bleeding off the pressure that you would normally be holding on the elevator. When we were flying, the nose was pitching down. When we held it about right here, it was negative 30%. That put our plane in level flight. And that's about what you need. 
so you can adjust it. This method takes a little bit longer, but it's more basic if you're not used to flying with you know, other controls, adjusting the trimmers or adjusting a knob or something like that. This method allows you to do that. I will have a future video in the adv advanced videos where it'll show you how to adjust this in flight so you don't have to come around, land, adjust, come around, land, adjust. You can just set it up all in flight. But that's how you set up a flapped elevator mix. Now that we have those numbers in there, I want to show you real quick on the bottom as a recap so you understand what's going on. So we're flying along, we have our flaps up, you notice we have no values on the elevator. So that's going to be level flight. So now we go to half flaps. You can see it goes to 0% for the flaps, minus 16% for the elevator. So even though we're not touching the elevator, it's like we're putting 16% of up elevator in from the stick. So that's what this elevator mix does, is it bleeds off the pressure so you're not sitting there holding the stick the whole time. You can get your plane in the attitude that you want, so when you come in, you don't have to move the stick all the time, you're just doing it for minor corrections. As you see, when we go to 100%, it'll be minus 30%. So now the elevator number will drop to minus 30. So it's a little bit higher at minus 31%. Sometimes that number is a little bit off, no big deal, because these are not set in stone numbers. These are just values that you're trying to dial in your airplane. So hopefully y'all found this video informative and you learned something today. If you did either one, go ahead and push the like button. If you want to see future Spectrum NX videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.